All right, Kate, thank you. It has been eight months now since the devastating wildfires hit Bastrop. 34,000 acres charred, more than 1,600 homes destroyed. But the rebuilding goes on, and as KXAN's David Scott reports, they hit yet another milestone today. The work goes on in Bastrop. Every day they work on the charred ruins, and they come down brick by brick and tree by tree. And while that continues, it seems every day, a new house, a rebuilt house, pops up. In Tahitian Village today, ribbon cutting for the new home of John and Susan Chupsinski. The mayor, Chamber of Commerce, family and friends came by to congratulate them. John and Susan managed to flee that dark September day with only their two dogs and the clothes on their back. They lost everything. It's so nice to be able to come back home. And when we when we had to leave in September, it was just a devastating. It was, you know, the sheriff was telling us we need to pack up and leave now. It was like right now. So John took one dog, I took one dog, and we left. And we never dreamed that it was going to all be gone. And to start all over has been really stressful. But we've managed to get through it, and, and we're stronger for it, I think. And we just love the new house. Almost every Bastrop resident who was burned out has sought a building permit to remain right where their old home stood. Some choose to have a house rebuilt exactly like the old one. Others, like John and Susan, opted for something different, something better. Are you liking it? Loving it, yeah. Yep, the house is a completely different design, and it's wheelchair accessible and stuff like that, so it makes it easier for me, too. Today, the Chopsinskis. Tomorrow or the next day, it will be someone else returning home and to the town they love. In Bastrop, David Scott, KXAM News.